The move of public health back into local government brings both challenges and opportunities. A key challenge is establishing effective working relationships between all the partners charged with improving health and well-being. Local authorities and public health are already successfully working together to tackle local health challenges. In Knowsley, John Flaherty, Service Director for Neighbourhood Delivery at Knowsley Council, has a good understanding of what makes it work. I think bringing partners together to share resources, uh, to deliver a shared outcome, is, um, has been the main thrust of what we've been trying to achieve. I think partnership working works well when you've got that shared understanding, where you are prepared to sit down and, and work hard collaboratively um, to, to deliver the, the, the product. Sue Drew, Director of Public Health in Knowsley, explains why school meals were chosen as a joint project. We established joint working around school meals because we have a very effective health and wellbeing partnership and have done for a long time. And the partners all agreed that food, nutrition and drink for children and young people is really important. Once we'd agreed that as a priority, it was then a matter of saying, and how do we make a difference? The school meal service in Knowsley provides nearly one million lunchtime meals per year and the project has changed the whole lunchtime experience for children. We've been working collaboratively now for a number of years to improve school meals. Uh, much of that relationship has been based on the needs of the child and what we've tried to do is focus the development of our whole school meals programme around the needs of the individual young person. So we've now had a clear focus on the nutritional content of our food, um, the quality of our food, the process by which we develop that food. For example, we have some children uh, involved in allotment growing, actually growing the food, and we're using some of that produce in our kitchens today. Uh, so a real sharp focus on the needs of the young people. There's been a radical shift in school meals uh, over the years. Um, in the introduction of compulsory competitive tendering, the focus was on the price of the school meal uh, and actually getting as many children through the school meals experience as possible. But there's been a complete shift now, so the focus is on the school meals experience, the quality of the food, the social experience um, of lunchtime, and we've worked really hard with the PCT and with local schools to actually make that lunchtime experience um, have a greater impact on the learning experience throughout the school day. We want to make school meals an exciting experience for our young people. We want young people to enjoy food. We want under young people to understand where that food comes from so that they make the informed choices uh, when they take a school lunch. The joint working with public health has made all the difference. I think the work we've done with public health has completely changed the landscape of school meals. Uh, we, we have been working collaboratively to focus on the nutritional content uh, of our school meals, which has resulted in the, the council actually training all its kitchen-based staff, all our chefs, to MVQ Level 2 and MVQ Level 3. Uh, we've got a much tighter integration between the community cooks uh, scheme that's run by public health uh, and with our own chefs in our schools. So we're seeing integration at a really local level in schools, which is making a big difference to the school meals experience. So what are the top tips for working in partnership? Well, my top tips for effective partnership working are about agreeing priorities. If all the partners agree that this is something they really want to see happen, then the job of doing it is so much easier. It's no good having one partner have a priority and then trying to persuade the others to do something about it. It needs to be an agreed priority. The School Meals Project is a good example of collaborative working with a shared vision and a focus on individual needs. Knowsley's School Meals have seen an increase in uptake rates, especially in secondary schools. By working together and putting public health at the heart of their thinking, local authorities can successfully deliver services that really improve their community's health and well-being. Mm -hmm.